Hi, so today I'm going to be talking about Net Promoter Score. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what it is. I'm going to show you how to add it to a survey and show you how it looks in the survey as well as the analytics that go along with it. So before we jump in, Net Promoter Score is basically a way to gauge customer satisfaction. It is a question that's based on a scale from 0 to 10 and you ask respondents how likely would you recommend blank to a friend, like your business, your restaurant, your company, your product, whatever it is that it may be. So promoters are those that respond either a 9 or 10 out of the scale uh, that would be most likely to recommend that to, your, to a friend. Um, detractors are those who score 0 to 6 and those are considered unhappy customers and scores of 7 or 8 are kind of somewhere in the middle. Some say that that could be ignored but uh, they're not quite promoters yet either. So I'm going to show you how to add it to a survey now. I'm going to create a new survey. We'll call it NPS for short. I'm going to add a question and right here under customer satisfaction is net promoter score. So the question text says considering your complete experience with our company how likely would you be to recommend our products to a friend or colleague? And I'm going to leave everything at the default because I like the way that sounds. So I'm going to save question and here it is. So now I'm going to show you what this looks like to the respondent when they're taking the survey. And it's pretty simple. Respondents just select on a scale from 0 to 10 how likely they'd be. Let's say 9. And that's it. So now I'm going to show you some analytics for a net promoter score question with uh, some responses it already has. So I'm going to go in here Go to the bottom, and here we go. This survey, um, just as a sample, it's only been taken 13 times, but we have the count here of the promoters, passive, and the detractors. So six people have have put an answer between zero and six. Six people have put an answer of six or seven, and one person has put something as a nine or a ten. And you can see this gauge here uh, that shows you. The same data. So I hope this helps in your understanding of Net Promoter Score and like I said it can be used across a multitude of industries and products, services, whatever it may be and it's a really good gauge of how satisfied your customers are. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always feel free to submit a topic if you can't find what you're looking for. Thank you!